we're in Portland, Oregon. We came down to check out Outside Van and we're gonna go through one of their custom builds. Okay, no, we have not gotten a new van, but I somehow magically got into a new t-shirt. That said, we're in Portland, Oregon. We came down to check out Outside Van. I wanted to come down because they make some really cool 4x4 conversions that I've seen online, but I wanted to see one in person. This is a Mercedes Sprinter 4x4 on the 170 chassis. They do a lot of custom work. Let's go inside and see what this is all about. It felt great driving. Very well put together, nice stout engine. This has the six cylinder turbo and got a lot of nice pickup, but I liked being up a bit higher because a four wheel drive actually lifts the van and it's nice to be up high and have a better view of the road. With outside van, you can start with a basic shell and insulation, wall coverings, floors, and just go up from there. This customer decided to go with a kitchenette up front. There is a nice isotherm refrigerator. A little bit of storage underneath the sink here. Does have a Dometic sink. There is an outlet here on the side. And three nice sized drawers. And these are actually bamboo drawers. A Wabasto diesel stove as well as a Wabasto diesel heater. The cool thing about these is they're very efficient and they draw from the same fuel tank as the chassis. There is a straw that goes into the fuel tank to feed these things, but it won't let you go below a quarter of the tank. So this won't empty your diesel tank and leave you a quarter tank to get out to the next gas station. The control panel is up here. This particular van has two AGM batteries. A 2000 watt Magnum Pure Sign Inverter. That control panel is up here. There is a light switch as well as an LED dimmer switch. That's pretty cool. The Wabasto diesel heater control panel is here. And then there is Zamp Solar on the roof. That control panel is on this side. There's a lot of storage up above the kitchenette. And I have to say, one of the things I've noticed with outside van, this stuff is built to be very secure. These are some of the most solid cabinets I've seen. They're made out of marine grade wood and these are meant to take a beating when you're off-road and everything is moving around. Those are solid. They also have soft close, locks. The other thing I was really impressed with when we were going through the factory is how much time and effort they put into just covering the walls. So there are a few different types of insulation you can get Again, they're using that marine grade plywood along the side. Sound deadening material as well as up above. It is very quiet in here. We've had a few instances as we've been filming where a helicopter has gone over and you can barely hear it come through. This customer opted to get two Max Air fans, one in the front, one in the back. They do have an option for a 12 volt AC system that'll run off of your battery. So you don't have to worry about having a big inverter to feed your AC. The 12 volt is very efficient. Another interesting feature with outside van that I haven't seen elsewhere are the shades they use on the windows. These all are buttoned up and then they simply fold down and they're clasped at the bottom all the way around. When you're done, unclasp it, fold it back up. And if these are really getting in your way, 
just take them off completely. I really like the open floor plan of this van. There's no bathroom. They do have options for showers, porta potties, but this is just open, very simple. There is the platform bed. This I find very interesting because there are two rails on either side. You can take each one of the three sections out of the van or just stow them away or put them all in together. And you have a giant bed. Each one of these platforms is rated to hold up to 500 pounds. Above it, there is the exoskeleton shelving unit. This is also really stout. It does have a way to remove it so you can pull the whole thing out. Very modular design. But this is awesome. You could put some heavy stuff in here and you'd be fine. In this particular van, they have the Max Trax rail system on both sides of the van as well as the floor and the rear. These can be used for all sorts of different modular type mounting systems. This customer has gone with a couple different bike holders. But you can do all sorts of things, even string a hammock between both sides of the van. I think that would be awesome. Be out in a national park, have the door open, gorgeous view, breeze coming in, sitting back in your hammock reading a book. That's what I call a nice day. In the back, there is an outdoor shower since there's no shower inside. You can open both back doors, have a little magnet curtain going down, take your shower back there. For anyone who likes to camp out in the cold, they do have the fresh water tank inside with a neat little feature. They've cut a slit along the box so you can see the fresh water tank and see what the level is at inside without having a meter. One less thing to go wrong. There are LED lights along the ceiling. They have LED strips under the cabinets and down below in the back so you can see your cargo. At the back of the van, there is an outdoor shower. They've added this aluminum bumper and the match track rails are right under here. These doors also open all the way. So you have a nice big open area in the back. There are also max tracks rails along both sides of the van. There is a crank for the manual Fiamma awning. Your water tank is on this side, batteries over there, vinyl flooring, and just a big open space to do whatever you want. With all the customization you can do on an outside van, Kate saw a version that was a shorty on the 144 wheelbase, I think, but it had dual sliding doors on the side. I think she would love that because you open both doors, you get a breeze going through, and then she would set up her hammock. Their core van would actually be a very good option for someone who's looking to build out their own. There's a lot of thought and effort that just go into their core van. The wiring is there, the flooring is done, and then you can upfit that however you want it, and whatever works for you. People always ask me, what type of van should I get? My response is always, the type of van that works best for you. So having the option to do whatever you want or design it how you want usually works best for people because you're not getting something right off the lot. The great thing about a core van is you can take some time to play around with it see how you're using the van and what options you'll need down the road, bring it back in, have it upfitted to whatever your desires are or budget. Overall, this van, it's simple, very functional, and very well built and sturdy. Of course, you can go and make these as complicated as you want to, but sometimes life is simple in a van. And I think that really applies to how we use ours and what we like to do. So looking at this, it really strikes a chord with us and we like the simplicity of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna see how we live out of a van, check out our camper van series up here. See you next time, bye.